Remember, these two commands generate us a nice sine wave. So let's just do this quickly again. Mm, x equals 0 to 0 0.12 pi. So now we should be able to do this quite quickly. So in this case, I just omitted the y variable and directly put this in, into the plot argument. So we've got our sine wave here. So what I would like to have now is a, is a command, one single command, which is executing these commands with all these parameters and are getting instantly our sine wave. Yeah, so what I would like to have is, I would like to package these two commands here into, into one file, into one command one one command which executes these two commands and this can be done by putting these these two commands into a separate file so we create a a file containing containing these these commands. So this here could be, for example, called my plot. Important is that at the end it's called dot m, and this indicates a so-called M file. Okay, so let's do this after the, all this theory. So let's create this M file and we do this with the edit command. So edit my sine wave.m. Oops, oops, uh, spell my sine wave. Yeah, that sounds right. So now MATLAB is asking if I would like to create this file. Yes, I would like to do this. So now I'm getting an empty editor window here and I just type in my my commands in this editor window here. So this is just a simple text editor. You can use any text editor as long as it's creating plain text for it. So for example Octave is not providing a text editor so you could use just any text editor which is available. For example I use gedit. So, okay, let's save this here. So we've got these two commands and we have not done any syntax errors or something like that. And then we can just uh, create our sine wave just by typing this command in here. My sine wave and press enter. And we see we're getting instantly the sine wave on the screen without having typed in these two commands. So we see we're getting instantly the sine wave on the screen and these two commands are automatically executed from this file mysinewave.m. So just to show you that it really works like this, so I close this window again and I just re-execute this command again and we see we are getting the sine wave out there again. What is also quite useful is we can also continue working here in the command line window. So for example, this script has created the vector x, so the vector x still exists and we can also play with this vector and continue using the data so it's allowed to mix m file execution and, and so now we are getting this exponential instead of the original function but if I execute for example my sine wave again I'm getting my sine wave back and so you see basically it's possible to mix m file execution and also command line execution.